Hi, I'm Mike McCormick, here live at GBTA Studios at Convention in San Diego, and I'm here with Stephen Deal, Global Managing Director of Immigration for CIBT. Welcome, Morning. Stephen. Thank you. So, certainly uh, immigration and immigration issues are in the news virtually all the time these yep. days. Um, Certainly, I would imagine in this environment you're seeing an increased demand for your services and services of your industry. We certainly have, yeah. I think um, if you think back to 30 years ago, the travel lanes were pretty simple. You had a lot of Americans that were traveling to Europe, Japan, uh, countries that did not require a visa, and today you have people that are entering sort of new frontiers that businesses are very interested in that uh, require a visa. So you have people pushing into the stands, uh, into African countries that China is investing in, and uh, we have seen a real increase in visa needs as a result. Yeah, so uh, tell, tell me about the different types of services that you know, a company like yours provides and how it, it really, uh, especially when it comes to managed travel. Sure, I think um, what really differentiates what we offer is that we have focused on a consistency of experience for travelers across our global footprint. And so when you look at the global business uh, visa industry, uh, what you find is it's pretty fragmented. So we have hundreds of competitors that are usually focused on uh, offering visa services in a particular market. So in a city, uh, Washington DC, Seattle, but aren't able to provide service beyond that single city. Uh, where we've done really well is by providing a consistent platform uh, for corporations that have a need uh, both nationally here in the U.S. and anywhere in the world. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so even though, the, to that point, so yeah. even though you know, it's, it advances uh, you know, uh, sophistication as technology is and, and the ability to have information, there's still fundamentally behind it a yeah. pretty, uh, let's say, old school process there when is. it comes to dealing with the, the government officials right. and what's required, right? No, that's very true. It's surprising that a lot of countries that have evolved quite a bit uh, have not changed their visa practices, you know, so you still have paper application forms, uh, there are paper photos that are required in order to submit an application, and that's where people get really tripped up because so much of the world has become automated and then you're dealing with this antiquated process that feels very unfamiliar to a lot of business travelers. Um, so we simplify all of that so that people don't have to figure it out on their own. Well, and then uh, in this environment, I would imagine one of the trends too is that is seemingly, at least if you look at from the, what you see in the news, yeah. the requirements uh, and the, the uh, are changing virtually every day. They are. It, it's really hard for travelers to track and understand what will be required of them. A lot of countries have introduced a biometric component, and that was not the case even 10 years ago, where there may be an iris scan, a fingerprint, uh, other components of a visa application that were unheard of not so long ago. And that's stressful to travelers because you know, there's confusion around why that information is needed, why are why is a foreign government taking my fingerprint? What will they do with it? Right. How long will they store it? And then you contrast that with GDPR and other things that uh, make companies concerned about how their information is being used. And so it, it's a new world. Yeah, and, and in real contrast, uh, great point, uh, in really almost in conflict with each other. Because right. from a company perspective, from a personal perspective, you're really concerned and much right. more aware about the information being gathered. Right, correct? right. The rights yeah. of the individual in many cases have to be foregone to apply for a visa, and that makes many people uncomfortable. Anxious. Right. Yeah, very. Right. Um, other trends you're seeing in immigration and in this area? Yeah, I think what we've seen in the past few years is a real convergence of HR mobility and travel. Uh, so if you think about not so long ago, you had travel managers and HR mobility who were really operating sort of in their own silos, and we've seen those two groups come together. Uh, what we you know, find is that they have pretty aligned interest, uh, focused on duty of care, uh, maintaining the reputation of the company, mitigating risk for the employee and employer. Um, you know, we've become much more involved in other associations like ERC, and I know GBTA is now involved yes. with ERC, and yes. so we think that that trend will continue where you'll have uh, more organizations that bring together HR mobility um, and approach travel and uh, you know, long-term assignments sort of as one uh, group. Wow. Yeah. Complex times. Complex times. But, uh, and need for, need for answers, yes. certainly from a managed travel perspective. Yep. Yeah, very, very much good. so. Well, Stephen, thank you for joining us here Great. today. And I'm Mike McCormick, live at GBTA Studios here in San Diego.